Yum, yum! Hello, this is Pascal. So we are here in After Effects and we are going to talk, well, I'm going to talk about Duik. What is Duik? Duik is a series of tools that were created by a French guy, well, not that it matters, called Nicolas Dufresne, aka Duduf. They're just indispensable if you do any type of animation in After Effects. And they are free. Well, they are free, but I would strongly suggest that you do give something to help the development. Duik 16 is going to come out very soon. And there's going to be a Kickstarter campaign to help finance the development. I'll post the link under the video so you can check it out if you wish. So we're going to talk about Duik and specifically about character rigging. This is the type of animation I end up doing a lot. And like someone on a bicycle like this, to make it fluid animation, if you don't know expressions, um, that can become very, very complicated and not fun to do. And with Duik, it is fun to do. So let's look at it. So I prepared here just uh, the basic of the animation, just one leg, the bicycle, the frame, the pedal board, two wheels. And you see that on the leg, I kept the, the end of the pedal attached to the foot. That's just the way I did it. It's not absolutely necessary. Um, but it should be aligned with the pedal like this. Okay. So first thing we need to do is rig the wheels and there's something in doing for that. If you go to the animation palettes here, you have a wheel, so you can select the back wheel for instance, click on the wheel, and it asks you to measure. It me To work it needs to measure the distance between the center of the wheel or your layer and another one that's going to give the radius of the circle. So you can just create a new null object, put it bottom of the wheel, then select wheel first, then the null, measure, and click on wheel. And now if we move the wheel, oops, sorry, if we move the wheel, it turns. All right, so we can do the same thing with the second wheel. And it's the, basically the same one as the first one, so we can just use the same measurement. Oops, sorry, I don't need to measure. Oh, the wheel is done, okay. And the pedal, I think I already did actually. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Let me check. I'll remove it. Let's do it again. So I'll take my null again and put it at the bottom of the pedal board. There we go. To equal measure, yeah, 41. And we have that. So now I need to re align the board here we go so now the null I'm going to use as a master to move everything together so I'll rename it master put it at the bottom here and parent everything to it. So now when I move the master everything turns properly. Alright so let's check out the leg now. So we're going to use the puppet tool 
to rig it and just rig it as you would for like so the hip the knee the ankle now if you had someone walking you would put the toe around here but in this case I'm gonna put the last pin where the pedal is and this is these are the all the pins. Now, to do it is going to put some bones uh, attach a particular controller to control the position of each of these pins. So they need to have a specific name, unique name. You can either type a new name for each pin, or in Duik you can go back to the rigging palette. You can rename batch rename everything. You choose so either layers or pins. So pins in this case. And number for one to four. Uh, in our case, I'm just going to rename them because just for clarity in this tutorial. So I'll just say panel ankle knee and hip. Now I go back to Duik, Rigging, and I click on Bones. And now I have a bone for each pin that can hide the puppet controls. So I need to do some parenting now. So the ankle is parented to the knee, and the knee to the hip. And I need to add a controller to the ankle to the ankle you have some settings here we're just going to use small white create it if it's not what you want you can go back to controller change the color like to green and you do update and it changes it very convenient all right so now the ring the the IK setup just you have to first select the top of the hierarchy and the end, first, yeah, then the end, then the controller, and then click IK. We want this type of IK. This is more for um, tails, things like that, hoses. Create, and it's done. So if I attach the pedal to the controller here and move the controller. See, you have an IK setup. So now what I need to do is to parent the, the controller to the pedal and the pedal to the pedal board. So let's just do that. Here we go. So now when I move the master, it's really not what I want. There are two things I need to fix. First thing is that the this leg is rigged now, so I need to attach the rig to the rest of the hierarchy. So I need to parent the hip to the master. The second thing I need to do, I'm going to use Duik again, is to give a goal to the pedal so the orientation doesn't change from the parent. So I go to IK goal, click on it, and now when I move the master, everything moves perfectly. So the other thing I need to do is to fix the bending of the legs, especially at this point. And for that, we're going to use the starch tool, which is where the puppet pin tool is here. I'm just going to put some stiffness in the leg. Like this and here. Here we go. That should be good. Let me do some RAM preview here. And I think we're good.
All right, so th then to finish the rig, you have to put some holding pins there and uh, copy the leg and do it on the other side. And you end up with something like this. In this case, I had only three pins, uh, but I did four this time just to show you the IK goal to change the orientation of the, the pedal. And then you're good to go. Okay, bye.